welcome. Hello there, welcome to the CGTN live stream. I'm reporter Huang Fei coming to you live from Zhuhai in southern China. Welcome to Airshow China 2022. For the first time ever, the Airshow is showcasing a full-size replica of the Tiangong uh, Space Station, uh, which translates to Heavenly Palace. Uh, we're looking at Heavenly Palace on Earth. And to walk us through this incredible display, we have invited the man responsible for designing and building the real thing. And um, he's Mr. Wang Xin. Hello, Wang Xin Zong, you are.就是谢谢您参加我们这一次的这个直播。呃，跟我们的那个网友、海海内外的网友打个招呼，介绍一下自己好吗？好，行。那个直播间的观众朋友，大家好。我是这个空间站的副总指挥王鑫。今天很高兴在这里能给大家介绍一下咱们珠海航展的这个空间站的一个展示的一个方式。This one-to-one -one, full-size mock-up of the space station at the 2022 Airshow China. It's amazing show because over the past days we only witnessed the beauty of the space station on TV, and it's a very rare opportunity for us to come to the spot and see this. One-to-one -one mock up with our own eyes. And you are the deputy chief commander. You have joined the design process of the space station. What's your feeling of coming? to this show. Currently, we have this T-shaped complex of the space station orbiting in the space, and we have this one one full size mock-up in front of us, this model, this replica for our designers, for the makers of this space station. It's also unforgettable memory, and it's a great honor of ours. So, could you please give us an introduction about the major features of the space station for the 2022 Air Show China? It is open during the moment of the transposition of the lab module. And during our current share air show of China, we have demonstrated to the visitors the T-shaped structure of the space station. You have the external looks, you have the solar wings, as well as the external facilities attached to the surface of the space station. So this is in alignment with the real one. Bit, uh, we're looking at a full-size uh, replica of the Tiangong Space Station. We're looking at the Tianhe core module in the middle and the two uh, lab module on each side. The Mengtian lab module, Mr. Wang just mentioned, has just been launched into space just a few days ago. Um, and we're also going to be uh, looking at the robotic arm, which is designed to, uh, to help uh, astronauts conduct extra vehicular activities. And now for the visitors coming to see this air show, they can have a better opportunity to have a closer look at this space station. What are the highlights to represent to them? In the middle is the core module. And this is the Mengtian lab module. To the other side is the Mengtian lab module, and the three can form this T-shaped complex. This very long one holding a Taikonaut is the 10-meter long robotic arm. When we turn around above the Mengtian lab module, there's a smaller one of the robotic arm. The two robotic arms, they can work independently and also work in synergy. For the synergy motion, they can form a total length of 15 meters to cover the whole scope of the space station. With this robotic arms, they can assist the EVAs of the Taikonauts and also the transfer of the goods outside the cabins. Those are outstanding features, and also there are the solar wings. This is the energy supply system for the electricity supply. It's the sheer size of it is pretty incredible. Um, and Mr. Wang just mentioned uh, we have a 10-meter robotic arm and a 5-meter one on, on each side, and they can uh, 
together assist astronauts in extravehicular activities. Ah, 那我们继续往前走。嗯，还有什么特特？ You can also see some wires here. This is a whole network of the wires connecting the heaven, the ground, and the people. We also have the relay satellites contributing to the whole telecommunication system. So we can realize the interconnection between the heaven, the ground, and the people. I read in the documents that the connection speed is faster than that of 5G. And there's just the seconds of delay in transmission. And the dialogue between the heaven and also the ground is very important. By this side, you can see the back side. There's a circular part. Every time when we launch another mission, we will use this part. In the future, there will be many more spaceships and also cargo ships coming to this point to be docked with the space station. And this is the mother port. In the future, there will be a few. Uh, there will be much more future missions to carry more Taikonos and also merchandise and materials and also supply of the energies to the space station. And you have to rely on this connecting port to do the docking job. This is the rear docking point, and we also have a frontal docking point, and there is also the one below. Different possibilities of the docking. So for the major ports of docking of the space station, we can facilitate the transportation of Taikonauts and also the materials. You have mentioned the stays of the Taikonauts. With the launching of the Shenzhou 14 and Shenzhou 15, that would be the co-working scenario of six Taikonauts at the same time. And now, could you please give us an explanation of the role played by the Tiangong Space Station to guarantee the work and the life of our astronauts in space. Later on, when we go into the modules, I will give you more details. For the crew teams, for both crew teams, they can do a very short period of handover period, and they can share some time together between the two crews. The Shenzhou 14 crew team, later on, they will take the spaceship to go back to Earth, and they will hand over the work to the three new Taikonauts brought by the Shenzhou 15. What are new requirements for the new team? First of all, we have to create a designated space for work and life for our three Taikonauts. Inside, you understand there will be sufficient room for their daily job and also the life. There should be sufficient supply of oxygen, water, and the other daily necessities. Should we climb up, or we can first give more introduction to this part? This is called the Wentian Lab Module. For this lab module, it's the backup part. For the information control, when there's the emergency, this lab module can take over the core module and carry out the key functions. There's also the smaller robotic arm that can support the EVAs of our Taikonauts. And for this shape, it's carrying some load to do the external load experiments outside the cabin. And for the Wen Tian lab module, itself, it has a very large size, 17.8 meter 
lawn. You just mentioned the, the, the space station is really, really huge. And um, uh, we were just talking about this uh, robotic arm uh, also assisting in experiments, uh, scientific experiments in space. And the Wentian lab module itself stretches 17 meters. Um, so I think we're going to uh, step inside to have a better look at um, how, how the space station accommodates uh, all six uh, astronauts at the same time because uh, very soon we're going to uh, have the have a um, first handover uh, in space with uh, the launch of the Tianzhou 5 um, cargo mission and the Shenzhou 15 crewed mission um, and so you know this space station is sort of ready and it's, this station is equipped with um, life-sustaining um, technology and living facilities for all six. So let's go up and have a closer look. Okay, let's go. So we can move inside the replica. That's really a rare opportunity for ordinary visitors. We can go inside the smoke cup and have a closer look at the space where we can accommodate our Taikonauts. Inside this cabin, we can have the real experience of the living and working environment of the Taikonauts. We have the zoning and also all the equipment. Everything you can see here is in almost a perfect alignment with what we have in space. First impression is that it's quite a generous space. In the three modules, we have um, around 120 cubic meters of um, accessible room for the work and daily living of our Taikonauts. What do we have here? Just after the entrance, you have this experimental zone. We can do biological experiments. We can also test out some medical samples. You can also do a low temperature storage. So for the biological experiments, you do the sampling and also the analysis. For this part, I think you are quite familiar with this part. Every time we follow the live streaming of the in-orbit undertakings of our Taikonauts, you can always find this part of the monitors from the footage. For the Taikonauts in orbit, they can know the pressure of the atmosphere, they can know the consumption of the energy as well as the temperature. Every moment, they can know exactly where are they. There is an also another board for the control. Every time when there is the EVA, there are two Taikonauts outside and one other working here inside. When there is an emergency with the robotic arm, then for this one staying inside the module, he has to take over the manipulation of the robotic arm. And also in case of the need for a moderate readjustment, you can also do some manual work. Outside and this is the control panels. Uh, the robotic arm is semi-automatic, and so uh, the astronauts can kind of work together um, from, from, this, from this interface. Um, and we're also looking at a lot of um, sci um, sort of little, little cabinets uh, experiments for, for scientific experiments. Uh, I believe that uh, about a thousand experiments are planned for, for over the life cycle of this, uh, this uh, space station for the decade. Um, and so this is, you know, a lot of important scientific discoveries are being made. So all those are cabinets for scientific experiments. 
those are the panelings covering up some equipments in the space station. We have uh, installed a lot of the equipments. We can realize an in-orbit repairing and also the resetting. So when we remove the paneling, you can expose the equipments. There are also many details here. If you have followed the TV shows, you can remember these because it's zero gravity environment for our Taikonauts. They have to attach the bodies to the four sides of this room. You can use these facilities to grab your feet. And you can also use this one, for example, to do some workouts. And you can also move around thanks to these facilities. So we have designed a lot of equipments like that. So you can have the freedom of the movement. And sometimes you use it to fixate your body. It's also very important. Very important session of the, <laughs> the the live stream, which is about food. I think I'm maybe a little hungry, but uh, these are um, space food, I believe. This is space food for the Taikonauts. Yes, exactly. We have to do this in the dining area. During the mission, we have put in stock a great variety of the food for staple food like noodles and also other snacks and some seasoning ingredients. For example, this year they will celebrate the traditional Moon Festival, so we have prepared some food for the festival celebrations. We can consider their eating habits on Earth. And then keep the same food supply in space. There is also the machine for the self-made yogurt. Astronauts can even make their own yogurt um, in this capsule, which is pretty incredible. Now we're coming into their bedroom, I believe. This is where our Taikonauts sleep. On the ground is the treadmill. When the Taikonauts are in the space, there's the risk of a loss of calcium. So they have to keep up with the nutrition supply and also continue with the workouts. They have to do a lot of exercise to stay in good, healthy status. This will also help to facilitate their recovery after they return to the Earth. Every day they have to eat in a very clean and healthy way. They also have to do a lot of exercises. I showed you the treadmill, and now I think uh, in the camera you can look at the uh, one of the beds the astronauts are sleeping in. This is their they have three sleeping areas. First one is here, they have the sleeping bags. With the sleeping bag, they will not float in the mid-air during the sleep. And they also have the reading light, the ventilator, and also the music players. There's also the window here through which you can enjoy the beautiful views of the universe and to see our Earth. That's marvelous view. Marvelous view. There's also Chinese elements on, uh, on the sleeping bags. So with this design, you can see the traditional Chinese elements. Of course, you can find the national flag and also the Patterns of the cloud, sign uh, symbols of the good luck and peace. You also find another motto of our mission. This is the sanitary zone. 
日常的一个必备的一个区域，对。So this is the, uh, their their bathrooms. Ah, but their 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 in the real space station, there are curtains, soft curtains. So when they take the rest, they can just lower the curtain so that they can have some personal room of privacy. This is one module of the node of the connection. You can find those entrance in the circular forms. It's capable of the docking. In the real one under our feet here at this spot, we also have another entrance. It's for the docking with the cargo ship. And for this one and another one. For these two circular entrance, two gates, those are the cabin gates connecting Meng Tian and Wen Tian lab modules. After the transposition, which is already completed until now, it can be connected all together to form a larger space. And this one looks like a scenario from the scientific fiction. And there's another one to allow our Taikonauts to go out of the module to carry out EVAs. Later on, until Wen Tian, you can find one major exit. Safety, there are many contingencies built in on this space station. We just looked at a docking point, a docking hub, which is able to connect three spacecraft uh, for long stays at a time and two for, for short stays. Uh, what about this part? It's the Wen Tian lab module. In comparison with the core module here, we have even more general space. I can give you some introduction about the key functions. After entrance, you can see some, some cabins for the experiments, for life sciences. For example, the microbial experiments, biological experiments, it's just like a small size of space farms. We have different modules. For example, you would like to cultivate some plants and the microbials and some biological parts. You can keep them here for the cultivation. We have the incubation box here. This time we brought uh, with the mission the seeds of the petty rice. Now you can already see the grains of the petty rice. It's almost a complete life circle of the plant. It's a very successful experiment realized in the space. And for this part, during our previous session of the lectures, we have the gloves boxes and also the low temperature storage cabin. We can do the dissection of the cells in a stereo environment and there is also the low temperature storage for the cells, tissues and we can carry out following up scientific experiment. In the future, we will also invite 
foreign experiments to take place in the Chinese space station. Yes, all countries that have the willingness to work with our country are welcome to carry out scientific researches and experiments. Some of the countries they have proposed their own experiments, and I think in the future, in the international arena, there will be more foreign friends coming to our space station for further collaboration. I read in the documentations that some foreign countries have uh, invited their taikonaut, their astronauts to learn Chinese. This time for our Tiangong Space Station, it's independently designed and manufactured by our own country for the operation interface and also for the manual for operation, it's written in Chinese. For all the indications, displayed inside the space station, it's all in Chinese. It's a symbol that this space station is an achievement, our independent endeavors, and for our Taikonauts to work in such a space, it's very safe for them to read in the mother language, in the mother tongue, it's also easier for them to read. Before our foreign astronauts, they can also learn Chinese. If necessary, we can also add up the interpretation. Um, according to the design of the space station, the lifespan of the space station would be 10 years. What about 10 years later, where you have the phase two? And there's the possibility for the repairing replacement for our space station. We can repair or replace some of the components so that we can prolong the lifespan of the space station to reach 15 years or even longer periods. Like that, we can keep the space station in perfect function status for a longer period of time. And we also have the possibility for extension functions. Just now we passed that cabin of the nodes and you can do the docking with the other spaceship or the other module so we can add another similar part. This is the possibility for the extension of our structure. Currently it's the T shape and we can add another T. So it's like two horizontal lines crossed by one vertical line. So you can make the space station bigger and more multifunctional, another space of sleeping. You also have one sleeping bag on the ceiling because we have to consider the handover period for the six astronauts in space. Just now we noticed the three sleeping areas with one toilet, and here we also have the same function. But for the layout, it's a little bit different. We have two vertical beds and two hung on the ceiling. But when you are in space, this will not be a trouble for you. With the Wentian lab module, we have the sleeping area during the handover. We can, of course, accommodate all the six Taikonauts in space. Can I have a try? I've never slept standing up, but, you know, in microgravity, uh, you probably won't see, won't feel the difference. You probably won't feel the difference of you know whether you're standing up or you're um, lying flat. So this is this is cool. Then you just put the lanyard on. Yes, yes. And then you have to zip it. Yes. Basically, it's just a relaxing feeling. Then, when you're in space, it's just a relaxing feeling. Then, when you're in space, it's just a relaxing feeling. Then, when you're in space, it's just a relaxing feeling. Then, when you're in space, it's just a relaxing feeling.
feels rather strange with the gravity. Yeah, but in space, it feels different because in space is microgravity environment. So for our Taikonauts, they have been trained so many times, so they can easily get used to it. Interesting. What about this one? Looks like a lateral bed, but in space, it's no trouble for our Taikonauts. So, do they need to tie themselves up? Yes, for all the beds, there are some belts in order to prevent the body floating up. We have this valve cabin. We have one valve cabin for the Taikonauts, another for the cargoes. For example, this one, we have this animation for the opening of the gate. You can see the beautiful earth. And those footages are made by our Taikonauts. Marvelous footage. So footage is collected by our Taikonauts when they are working there in the space station. So over there, they can feel stronger emotion for this blue planet. So that's all for the tour visit to our space station. Wow, we're back to Earth. Now we are back to the Earth. We feel rather good. This very interesting mock-up would be put here in a permanent manner. If you miss the 2022 Air Show China, you can come in the future. And what's the significance for this show, and especially for this one-to-one full-size mock-up? Here you can see this replica that is almost the same as the one orbiting in the space. It's a great inspiration. And currently, we have already completed the two first steps of our manned space mission, which has started in 1992. We have actually realized the transposition of one lab module, and we have basically formed a T-shaped complex in 30 years for the whole system of the aerospace program, we have presented to the whole world this great work. This can represent the level of development of our science and technology. For the space station, it's also a symbol of our space mission, of our space system. This is one most complicated and the largest scale of our space object. We hope that with this replica of the space station, we can give a chance to everyone, the ordinary people, to get to know the achievements of our country through their personal experience. Just now you have talked about those details of design and diversified experiments of scientific researches. For example, for the maintenance of life, 
biological monitoring and the growth and also the daily job and stay of our astronauts. Those are very important issues because in the future we think that for the manned mission they will stay longer and longer in space. And with the progress of our technologies, we will march further into the deep universe. We are planning for the manned mission to moon and we will keep going with our aerospace technologies okay, development. So, uh, we've had a really ex in-depth tour of this incredible display of the Tiangong Space Station. As we said, it's a heavenly palace on Earth. And um, uh, this is going to be a permanent display here in Zhuhai. And it's really an example of China's uh, growing self-sufficiency in space technology. And as we aspire to build research stations on the Moon and Mars, this will forever be a lasting tribute to China's first home in space. Thank you for joining us on this TGTN live stream and see you. Bye for now. Oh.